All right. Well, uh, so this weekend I spent in Oakland, California for the NALCS finals of League of Legends. And that's going to be my gaming moment of the week because it was a uh, it was a lot of fun. I got to go with Spidey 2KX, uh, Dark Phoenix, and Phantom Joe. We um, we played a ton of League, learned a lot of new stuff. I uh, I fell in love with a new champ, uh, the which is Scion. I'm yeah. uh, I'm really enjoying Scion. Scion. Phantom Joe birthday gifted me a Mecha Scion skin, and then I got yeah, I, I got cool myself a couple skin. different chromas. It's the first time I've ever bought chromas for a skin, so now I'm like looking like Optimus Prime running down running down people and just smashing. So I'm uh, I was having fun. Uh, Spidey 2KX was you know finding learning that position and really starting to starting to find his groove, and it was just we played a ton of league. And then Who's we he got, playing? Uh, he was playing a lot of uh, Alistair. Oh, and then he and then he switched over to some Lux, and then enjoyed some. Um, started to learn some Sona. So there you go. Playing support main, I like it. Yeah, a lot of yeah, uh, mainly support. And by mainly support, I mean 100 percent support. So, um, but yeah, we had a good time, and then we got to go watch some great games, and you know, uh, it, it definitely was just like a fun event it was weird to like have my birthday though like and be in california when like uh my wife's calling me at 9 p.m to wish me uh eastern birthday you know and and i don't know it just was weird like i've never been away for my birthday so um but it was a good time uh i have some things i want to talk about but are we do i put that somewhere else in this show or should i go about it right now just do it right now because this is the scene where the photos are yeah we're uh <laughs> oh oh yeah that okay let me let me hit yeah i have some some negative things to talk about okay all right well first let's say it, it, okay great time and then i had a couple things happen to me on the last day so during the finals uh for those of you who don't know and sorry jazzy i don't want to like ruin ruin your uh you know your segment, but C9 didn't do too well. Okay, let's just put it that way. <laughs> I know they didn't. C9 didn't do Losers! too well. Losers. So on the last, I spun game, my segment differently because I knew you wanted to talk. about Yeah, it. on the last game, game three, uh, I I actually decided to go check the. Um, I figured that most people were in the stadium, so I went to go check the um, gift shop, right, or the the apparel and stuff like that, and they were sold out of like everything. So I'm like, okay. I'm just typical. Gonna, I'm just gonna do a lap around the stadium, you know, the, the in, inside. But I'm gonna do a lap, and as I'm walking around, I I'm like I see a short line, and I'm like, oh, what's going on up here? And sure enough, I see Tyler one, yeah, the, Tyler. Tyler one, the uh, the you know infamous streamer that uh, was banned from league from being one of the most toxic players of all time. Goals. Um, who then was <laughs> reformed? Yeah, reformed. Yeah. Came back. Riot, you know, allowed him back in, and and he's been he's been behaving and, and kind of creating a uh, you know a positive culture around him. And so they invited him to the event uh, this past weekend, where he was able to uh, play in a fun exhibition uh, game and and do some things. Well, he was just out meeting fans, and so you know I hopped in. Took a took a photo with him, and I, I just I got a kick out of him because he's he's got that you know he's got his personality right he's got this this uh, persona he has to put on, and so I'm watching everybody come up to him, and they're like, oh yeah, let's flex because the, you know if you're if you're here live on twitchtv slash media, you can see the guy the guy is uh, he's ripped, and so people are flexing. He's like, oh yeah, let me see the photo, let me see the photo, and then they show him the photo. He's like, man. You look really small in this photo. And I'm like, okay, he's playing his bit. I like this. I like this. So I get up. I'm like, what's he going to say to me, right? I'm rocking my gunners, and I got these yellow lenses on and stuff. I'm like, all right. And I get up there. He's like, hey, man, where are you from? And I'm like, oh, we came from Detroit. He's like, well, that's pretty stupid. Why would you come all the way here for League? I'm like, we like League, man. What do you mean this is stupid? We came here to see. Like, I heard I get to see you. That's pretty cool. He's like, yeah, that's true, that's true. And then you know, we took the photo. <laughs> Maybe he's but, not so bad. Yeah. He, he he said what I was thinking. Like, why would you go all the way there yeah, for yeah. league? Yeah, right. all right, Tyler. Yeah. So uh, I had a good time with that. And then I w- went to go finish my lap. And I'm walking by, and I see uh, a Riot employee. And and uh, and this just this person, kind of like stuffed in the corner. And I walk by, and I look. I'm like, I think that's – and I just keep walking. 
And then I stop because I see the riot employee walk away. I'm like, you know what? What am I doing? Like, I, I know who that is. <laughs> I'm going to turn around. I'm going to walk up to him. And I'm going to say, hey, can I get a photo? And I met Cody's son. Yeah. Yeah, the ADC for 100 Thieves that played on Saturday. And I, <laughs> the best part was, like, Cody doesn't, I don't, Cody doesn't speak uh, very fluent English, yeah. right? But, like, I looked at him and I was like, hey, you know, like, hey, Cody. And he, like, kind of, like, looked at me. And, like, he's looking around, like, you know, does anybody see this? Anybody see this? And I'm like, you mind if I get a photo? And he, like, looks around again. And he, like, waves me over like this. Like, yeah, yeah, come, come over here. Come over here real quick. <laughs> and it was, like, super secret. Like, and, and so, like, I, you know, I hold my phone up, take this, take this selfie with him. And then, like, I go throw my hand out there. I'm like, hey, great games yesterday. You know, you took it five games. You, you, really, you really gave it your all. And he he just he says zero words, so I don't even know if he understood a single thing I said to him. <laughs> I I assume hopefully he did. And then I shook his hand, and and here here, shake my hand. It was like it was like this. Mm. It, it was like it was like I felt like <laughs> I felt like I'm like oh man I don't want to hurt like I thought I hurt him. I thought I was like oh god I don't want to hurt him. He's going to he's going to worlds he, <laughs> because I, here I am. It's game five or, or sorry it's game three. TL is just. Destroying C9, that means Hunter Thieves is going to Worlds, so I don't want to hurt their ADC. But I'm telling you, he he was like the most gentle person. It felt like I was like holding glass. So, and I mean, the uh, the event itself was just such a blast that. But it was cool that I, I didn't plan on meeting anyone, and just sometimes at these events, and you know, Jazzy, mm-hmm. is that you just go, you can go take a lap around the stadium, and you'll run into people like this that. You know, they're all pretty, uh, pretty chill to uh, take a photo, yeah. talk to you for uh, for a hot second, and it, it was it just made for, it just made for the weekend to be even cooler. Just yeah, to, we know. always seem to run into somebody at the event too. Last year yeah. in Boston, it was uh, Scara. Yeah, and then my last shout out because I'm taking a long time for this, but my last shout out goes to our uh, fan from Gamezilla, Sean Flack, yeah. Oakland Cali native. Okay. Picked us up from the airport, checked us into our hotel, took us to dinner, drove us around nice parts, maybe some not nice parts, <laughs> and really gave us like a full like view of the world that is that you know Oakland, Cali, uh, and we and we left Oakland too, but um, you know it was just super awesome. It was finally it was awesome to finally meet him in person. Amazing guy, super nice. And uh, you know, thank you again, Sean, for for all the hospitality and and helping us out. It really uh, it really kicked off the the trip. You know, we landed and then we already had that just nice jump start into our our. Was uh, he holding a sign at Gamezilla Media? <laughs> yeah, right. That'd have been cool. <laughs> no, he uh, he was he he got surprised. I, I took him a a new Gamezilla shirt. Because I realized yeah, that he didn't yeah. have one, and I was like, if he's gonna be picking us from the airport and taking us around, like the least I can do is make sure I get him a shirt. So, and then um, Phantom Joe got bought him dinner and everything as a thank you too. So he took us to dinner to this uh, this cool like market that like everything was like mom and pop owned, like kind of like like kinda like Quincy Market when you went to Boston. Like yeah. it just was cool because it was like all this unique different food and we tried a bunch of it. it was and it was real good. So thanks again, Sean. It was uh, it was a lot of fun. So. Um, my negative, okay, here's just the event. Let's talk, like, this could be, like, a precursor to the news. The, the, I have no idea, <laughs> okay? I just want to thank everybody. I had a good time, but here's my problem. What was Riot thinking, okay? If I have any fans other than Sean that have some tie to Oakland and, and De, uh, De Brutish one, I apologize, but... What the hell did you have that event at at Oracle for? I don't get it. I don't I don't understand because I was like, we'll stay at the hotel closest to the arena. Makes sense to me. I'll even pay a premium if there was one, but in fact, it was the cheapest hotel even though it was closest to the stadium. Like I and I'm like, oh yeah, but there there'll be food and and there'll be things for us to do and stuff like that and that's when Sean's like, "Man, you in the hood." And I'm like, what do you mean I'm in the hood? He's like, yeah, yeah, that's pretty hood where you're staying. I'm like, all right, well, like, should I leave? Like, should I change? Like, this is like, I had I had less than 24 hours to make an adjustment. And he's like, 
well, you don't have to change. I mean, like, just, you know, probably don't go out after dark. And like, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, man, like, what did I get? And I felt bad because all the other guys that are coming on this trip with me. And, and but they all agreed we're going to stick with it. We're not worried. And then we get there and I'm like, oh, boy, this is this is rough. Okay, this is rough. And we're from Detroit, so... <laughs> That's the important thing to remember, yeah. is it's not like we're from Beverly Hills, and <laughs> yeah. we're like, oh, we're in Oakland, we're something like... We live right outside of Detroit. Like, yeah. if we yeah. could probably throw a football between here and Detroit, where we're sitting right yeah. now. So, we know a little bit about rundown cities. Yeah, so, and and to my, you know, because of that, we, we have some street smarts where we never really felt, like, uncomfortable. But but we could tell just the struggle that the city is having, and just we didn't like again the more and more like Sean took us around, and then when we finally went to the event, we just started to question like why, like California is your home state for riot. Their 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 headquarters are built out of California, mm -hmm. not Oakland, but they're built out of California, and like to me it was just like why Oakland, like what. What was the decision? And everyone's answer was the same. They must have got an amazing deal to get that space. It was like, hey, we'll give it to you for free as long as you just put an event here. You know, and obviously the, the big thing with Oakland is like they're they're losing the Raiders. Uh the Golden the Golden State Warriors, your NBA champs, are talking about leaving. The athletic uh A's or whatever are talking about leaving as well. And that's it. You you have no teams. They're gone. And so you have this like you have this Oracle Arena, and then right behind it you have the Coliseum. They're like right next to each other, and you have this crazy area that nothing's being built around because they have no idea if they'll even have a professional team in the next couple of years. And because of it, they're also fighting the 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 crazy outbreak of of um, homeless just tent cities and and everything around, and it's super sad. But it's just like you know San Francisco is dealing with a similar issue. It was, like, when you think of Detroit, because we have a problematic city that's, on, you know, things are getting better in certain areas, but we have a problematic city. When you think about around LCS or around, or L LCA, or around Ford Field or something like that, right? You think those are the poc the nice pockets, right? Like, I can go there and I can walk around the stadium and be pretty comfortable and I can find a restaurant and enjoy it and all that stuff, right? It's It's like... There's nothing around these stadiums. There's, there's no, you can't build a vacation around this unless you stay in San Francisco and travel to this arena and then travel back to San Francisco and, and do your and, and continue your trip. So where we went to Boston last year and Toronto the year before that, and we had just a a whole city of things to you know to enjoy. Go to the games, go find a cool bar or, or a great place for dinner. It, it all worked. Here it was like. Okay, walk straight to the stadium with your head on a swivel and then walk straight back. And if it, and if the game goes too long, you don't walk back, you Uber back. And that was it. And it was like like we were like, okay, uh we need to pause playing league to go get dinner and we'll order extra food and bring it back to the to the room because after this point of time, you don't go back outside. <laughs> Now, mind uh, you, the second we walked into our hotel, it started. It was like, oh, boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? I'm pretty sure there's a prostitute ring working in this ho that ru that runs their, their business inside this hotel. You picked the best hotel. <laughs> you yeah. took our boys yeah. to... To a hotel full of whores? Yeah. That's amazing. You did a great job playing this trip. Yeah, yeah. Got, so we got to take care of the community. So then, we get, <laughs> yeah. so then we get to the counter, and they only have one room for us. Now, mind you, they said we had two rooms, and they'd be connected. We have one room. They say we don't have a second room. They end up figuring it out. They get us our second room. They're not next to each other. They're across the hall, whatever. And <laughs> Phantom Joe and Dark Phoenix go into the room. And it's, you know, I'm like, okay. We open our room. I kid you not. <laughs> Someone left that room 30 seconds before we got there and left the biggest cloud of weed I have ever <laughs> seen in my entire life. <laughs> I had an instant contact high, okay? Like, my room smelt like weed the entire weekend. It's a good room. And, and a good weekend. Yeah, and here's the deal is that uh, you... 
we, we started playing a game of how many pockets of that smell do we hit as we travel around, not just our hotel, but we, as we head to the arena and stuff like that. It was everywhere. And yes, it's I know it's legal there and stuff like that, but um, my room, uh, 248, had a giant no smoking sign right on it. Like, it was a no smoking room. So, even if it is legal, you're not supposed to be doing anything in that room. Enough of my... Well, okay, just to be clear. Yeah. Were there also no prostitution signs in the room? Because, no, those, I mean, that's... No, no okay, that, okay. That, there Fair were no name. signs for that. So, okay. I mean, you know, I know what's going on. But... <laughs> and, and there's some things that happened that I can't even... I can't even talk about on the show because of, because of what's going on. Like, I've already kind of got oh. into the... Uh, but I can't get into them. Coming soon to Patreon. I can, Grimlock uncensored. I can tell you. The, I can tell you my first morning, uh, at, you know, out of our stay when we went downstairs to like check out, to scope out breakfast. The entire lobby was covered in police officers. <laughs> And they're gonna have the convention there. Don't I, just assume there was a crime. Yeah, no, they're, they're I found, out of the breakfast. No, man. because yeah. I found out what the, the crime. Breakfast. I found out what the crime was. So there was a crime. There was no breakfast. No, there <laughs> was that's, that's there just was, a crime. There was, was breakfast. Tragedy. There was breakfast. It was just questionable. So we decided not to eat it in fear that we wouldn't be able to go to league, the league matches. <laughs> but Good none, call. but Good anyways, call. okay. We had a lot of and, and to be fair, we found it funny and we and it made our it made our trip right. Like we we enjoyed it in a way. But the problem, the major issue that I'll close this out is, is that the facility they chose, the Oracle Arena that they chose, um, it is, it was a joke. Uh, when we got in, everything was fine. There was a guy that was like driving a cart. Was like, hey, would you guys like a ride up all the way to the stadium? And we're like, oh yeah, sure. Like everything was great. Got inside. I have a defibrillator, right? Okay, I got the I got the heart issue. I have a little device in me. It, I'm not supposed to walk through metal detectors. I have card that I carry with me, and I explain it every time I go up to something like this. And I explain, I show the guy, he's like, oh, okay, yeah, we'll just walk through. I was like, no, man, like, I can't, I'm not supposed to walk through these. It can set this off. Like, yeah, 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 no, but just walk through. I'm like, w- n- like, is it off? And he's like, just, yeah, yeah, just walk through. And so I do, because, like, the guy's not, like, letting me get out of line, and nothing happens, okay? So I'm good, but... The very next day, they were like, oh, oh, like different people at, the, at this thing. They're like, oh, 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 you have to, oh, okay, hold on. Move the gate. They're like, yeah, just walk around here. Don't walk through that. I'm like, what did I do yesterday? <laughs> what did you do to me yesterday? <laughs> so I'm like, okay. And that's, okay. That's, I'm, the, <laughs> I'm like, come on, man. I already hate dealing with this, but here we go. So, okay. So here's where Jazzy's going. To, I'm going to get some eyeballs from Jazzy. I already know. Mm. I think I'm, I think I might get eyeballs from all of you. Mm. Okay. We walk in Saturday, first day. What Jazzy? What have you learned from going to league events? What do you do first if you want to spend money? Go directly to the shops. Yes, like you can't. Like yes. you literally get there early and run to the shops because yes. shel- everything sells out and like they already J- sold out. Jazzy, you nailed it. To you nailed it perfectly. But you also used the word that I really, really appreciate in this. You said the word shops. Plural. Mm-hmm. Jess, how many shops were there to this, this time? <laughs> Please tell me there was one. There was one <laughs> shop! <laughs> one shop! One! No tables Jazzy, set up or nothing? tell me how big the shop was. Probably the size of the small shop. It's the, the other size ones? of this studio. Oh, and boy. by this studio, I mean the green screen cutout. <laughs> Jazzy, I got there when the doors opened. How long do you think the line was? Uh... You back to where that guy picked you up in the cart? <laughs> if it went out the door, you might be accurate. <laughs> but it went in, it rung around the stadium. It was an hour and a half line oh, to buy geez. no to way to buy gear because they had one shop. When I walked in, the shop was unboxing their product. They hadn't even put their product on the shelves yet. Okay, <laughs> you could have just taken a couple of boxes and set up a little like box. Now, <laughs> let's shift it a little bit further, Jazzy. <sighs> what do you do when you're hungry? You eat food. Oh, you eat food. Jazzy, how many places do you think you could eat food in this stadium? In this stadium? Yeah. Well, I would hope at least like 30 plus. It was one. <laughs> one. 
Like one, a, one food court. What, it wasn't a food court, Jazzy. Just one food it stand. It was one food stand. How many how many tickets did they sell to this event? Do you know? It it was it was in the upwards. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, look it up. I would say I think numbers were down, but I still think this was ten to fifteen thousand people. Well, yeah, which is crazy. I mean, the the wrestling event Test and I went to last weekend. There was one merch booth, so I understand that. But there was plenty of places to eat. One place. Now, mind you. As the day went on, I think they realized and they and they tried to. How do you not know that? This is what I mean, man. I don't like. It makes no sense to me. But it was one place, two hour wait. I don't care if you wanted just a water, two hour wait. Okay, so here's here's where I bring Dead Eye in. Okay, now Dead Eye, you like <laughs> to partake. In the alcohol beverage. Oh yeah, I've been known to dabble a time or two. Uh, last we, week's show, maybe I had three or four. Yeah, and I think we all like to drink uh, some H two O sometimes. Okay. Yeah. I think it's kind of important to survive. Now, if you uh, we're all in the stadium, we're having a good time, and you're like, I'm gonna go grab a beer. Would you like a beer? I'd say yeah. And then and then you're like, I'm gonna grab a water too. So two beers, and one water. How much does that cost? I'm guessing it was $26. $39. Whoa. Okay. $39. First off, let, let me throw this out there for you. One, I would never <laughs> buy water at a concert like that. I drink out of the sinks in the bathroom. <laughs> I do it all the time. It's free. You buy a bottle of water at a show and you're a sucker. But those are some expensive beers I wouldn't pay for it. $39. Now, mind you, this was... Uh, I'd probably drink my, my own urine before I paid $39 <laughs> for three drinks. This was Phantom Joe that went and did this. It wasn't me. I, w- I wouldn't have done it either. But it gets better when Dark Phoenix decided he wanted a mixed drink. Dark Phoenix is a man who likes to party. Wanted, he's, a, he's a good time. He wanted a mixed drink. And he wanted a water, okay? Mixed drink in the water. He, uh, he... Slam your mixed drink, fill your cup up in the bathroom. Right. You're good, man. And he thought in his head, he goes, hey, the lines are long. It's going to be pricey. I'm going to get a double yeah, yeah. on this mixed drink. Yeah, good call. Okay. Double mixed drink, one, and a water. How much do you think it was? A, a do- so the double's probably 20 bucks. And the water is probably ten dollars. Like I, I'm trying to figure out the math from the first thing. Thirty nine dollars. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Oh man. Yeah. So we quickly learned we are not going to eat here. We're not going to drink here. We're gonna pregame. We're gonna grab That's some more food expensive on the- than Disney World yeah, by I, a long I, shot. Yeah. And we're in a just a crap a crap hole. I'm sorry. I don't have much else to say. I was. I was like, and everyone's like, well, you know, maybe uh, maybe Oracle just didn't understand what this was. I was like, this isn't Oracle, though. The people running these booths, the people bringing this apparel, the people that, like, yes, the food courts are being are, are run by staff, but everything else is Riot. Riot would choose how much apparel they're going to ship, and, and, and even, like, the layout, like... Oracle didn't say, "Here's how your how your stage has to look in the middle of the stadium." Riot decided that, and so like they decided how many shops they were gonna have. And I kid you not, like the last two, this is my third in a row. The last two before this event was like shop wise, there were there had to be ten shops in the minimum, and and food everything was open at these facilities. Here it was that one place and the one shop, and then again as the day went on, where we sat which you had to have access to the lower bowl and a special section because we had, like, perfect seats. There was a, like, lower-level, like, restaurant area that did eventually open up to sell food, and they threw some, like, uh, card tables out there and threw stuff over them and, and kind of opened, like, a, you know, I guess a shop, but it but they didn't even have enough, uh, enough uh, items to make two shops work. And that's what blew my mind. It was like 100 thieves were there and they didn't even have their jerseys. It, it, uh, it was like, oh, um, yeah, what mouse pads do you have? This one. This, this is the mouse pad we have. Like, oh, you don't have more than one? Nope, we have this mouse pad. Okay, well, I'll take a C9 jersey. Walks back, here's the hand, sits down a Team Liquid jersey. N- no, I want a C9 jersey. What's that one? <laughs> it, it's, it's that one right there. I pointed at it the first time. Yeah. 
I um yeah, I was so disappointed with this event. I have no idea what Riot was thinking. Like I mean we read the articles of them cutting budget on esports and stuff like that, but we like, can't find it. They don't this, have it anywhere. I, I doubt yeah. A, I don't even know if it's public yet because it just it just, yeah, it just ended happened. yesterday. So, but it just to me was like, it was the most half put together event that I've been to in a long time, and that was super crushing to me because Spidey Two KX and um, Dark Phoenix, this is their first time, and so you know Joe uh, Phantom Joe was really upset because. He wanted the experience, his first experience, like he had in Boston. That's what he wanted for them, mm-hmm. and it wasn't there. The and and the crowd wasn't there, which is surprising to me because you're in your home state, you know, for Riot. And I just to me, I I it was a it was a miss. And we made a good trip out of it, but wow. And and I'm I'm going to be writing uh, Riot about this. I I think I'll uh, I'll be doing some form of a blog, uh, but. You know, overall, I'm glad that we could have a good time, and I had a blast with with my friends. But what a disaster by Riot uh, for, and the games were great, and, and and everything else. Like the the production of the actual games were done well. It's just everything around it that made no sense to me. You could have put you could have you could have put this in any other city, and it would have been an improvement. All right. I'm sorry. I hijacked the show. I needed to say that though. <sighs> yeah. Unbelievable. Disappointing. Unbelievable. You dodged. You dodged one, Jazzy. I, yeah. I, I will say that you dodged. I mean, one. <laughs> I mean, I literally would have starved to death on this trip. It, it sounds like because I didn't partake this time due to some financial situations that I'm going through, and now knowing that I would have had to pay thirty nine dollars for a water and half a hot dog. I would, I would have died. I would have starved I, yeah. to death. Yeah, you you know I would have I would have looked at those prices and I would have been like I will die here. You will you will watch me die in front of you for price gouging. I you, I wouldn't have stood for it. You go out to the little condiment area, just take off your shoe, put some mustard and ketchup. Yeah. Like I'm eating this. Now. I would have. I you know you guys know I'm ridiculous. I would have like protest like found. I would have been eating like old programs that they had laying around for sports teams. I'd be like, no, we're not having this.